Mark 8 36, states, For what does it profit a man to gain the whole world and forfeit his soul? This verse speaks to the idea that worldly success and wealth are ultimately meaningless if they do not lead to a deeper connection with God. Once a young, prosperous entrepreneur from a devout Christian family, the man had always lived his life at full throttle. Money, success, and status were his priorities. He didn't have time for anything else, especially for God. One day, his friend invited him to go to church, but he declined, asking for a good reason to go. The friend replied, because God loves you and wants to be a part of your life. But the man just laughed it off and continued his busy life. However, fate had a different plan. The man was diagnosed with a serious illness, and no matter how much money he spent on treatments, no doctor could cure him. Then, he realized the emptiness of his life and the mistake he had made by rejecting God. With no other options, he turned to God, asking for forgiveness for his arrogance and neglect. He went to church and prayed with all his heart, and the warmth of God's love filled his soul. The man felt a deep sense of peace and comfort that he had never experienced before. He could not buy his health despite his wealth, but he found something much more precious. He found a renewed sense of faith and a connection with God he had never known. The man's experience teaches us that no matter how successful we are in life, we should never forget the importance of God in our lives. We should always make time to connect and build a relationship with Him. For in the end, it is not our material possessions that will save us, but our faith and connection with God. Matthew 6 19-21, which reads, Do not lay up for yourselves treasures on earth, where moth and rust destroy and where thieves break in and steal, but lay up for yourselves treasures in heaven, where neither moth nor rust destroys and where thieves do not break in and steal. For where your treasure is, there your heart will be also.